Well, it's time now to head back to the lake. We are on the final stretch of our summer road trip. Mike, Max, and Frank Vassalera are in Ortonville. And they join us now. They're not alone. Hi, guys. We have a crowd cheering them on. Wow. We got them fired up here. Indeed, indeed. We love the enthusiasm in Nortonville. So Frank, Frank, Frank. No, Frank, no, no, Frank, no, 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 Frank, no. Frank. Max, he goes crazy with the live television. So, <laughs> so uh, not far from us, a couple miles away, back in 1871, uh, Cornelius Orton stakes a claim here, right? Yes. And that eventually became Ortonville. 145 years later, we're here at the Ortonville Golf Course overlooking this beautiful view. It is. There's a lot going on in Ortonville, both from a commerce standpoint and, as you can see, from a vacation standpoint. But you may, no matter where you travel in the world, find a piece of Ortonville. There's a reason for that. And we visited the business that provides us with just that. Each geographic location has a color that's unique to that in all the world. There is a good reason this area in far western Minnesota is named Big Stone County. It's naturally filled with beautiful brown granite. For a while, it was the most popular colored stone in the world. Here at Roush Brothers, they're in the business of taking what comes from 180 feet pits and turning it into memories that will last for generations. The product goes eastern South Dakota, eastern North Dakota, northwestern Iowa, and the southern half of Minnesota for the most part. Mike Roush is the third generation to run the family business, one that's rewarding because it's all done right here. We have an opportunity to work on a product and finish it, a product that gets in your house or gets out in a cemetery. Uh, we did the work on it. I mean, we polished it. We did the carving. In his time in charge, Roush has seen a lot of change. It used to be manual labor. They shaped the stones with chisels and, you know, they didn't have the grinding tools that we had. They would also do the carving work, the names, the flowers, the scroll patterns, all by hand. Today, a huge saw is cutting a quartz countertop. 